So I've just installed this uh, ammonium gas uh, detector transmitter and we're standing here with a big ammonium tank here we got the level here inside and of course NH NH3 so I thought I'd show you the some features of it if you're considering getting one it's a Honeywell XNX and we got right now I'll show you the light turn on the light so you can see that it's 0 ppm and it's measuring NH3 so resets fault alarm I haven't there are no alarms I guess Well, you can see you have two levels here. The first level and the second level. I believe that the second level is is when the alarm goes off. I put this in uh, connected it in relay. You can also use uh, 4 to 20 milliamps as signal out to the PLC. But this is just using a uh, uh, on off uh, switch that when you get over the second level I believe in PPM of NH3 then alarm goes off and then you have to retract back to number one when number one is uh, accomplished when you're down below one then it's possible to reset it here otherwise if you don't reset it here on the local place on the local here then it's uh, still <coughs> available in the in the control system to the operators so you got the sensor here and you got different uh, intake here you have four possible cable intake and uh, you can uh, hopefully yeah just unscrew this one and I'll show you the inside so this is the inside and you got the uh, sort of the, the voltage the supply runs on 24 volts plus and minus here and then uh, you also I'm using a guard sort of N N O and so I connect 24 to the to common and then when a guards uh, goes active it, it uh, closes the switch and activates the alarm to the control system which is located far away so that's pretty much it this this uh, connection here for the T before is for the reset the local reset button and it's pretty self-explanatory you got the relays here and you got the the 4 to 20 milliamps here the out signal here heart so yeah you can't press here you have to have a sort of a magnet this is a magnet comes with the package So, enter passcode, have to read the manual. So, you can also use Modbus, but uh, here we're using relays, uh, since we don't have an, an output for analog input. The control and navigation is pretty self-explanatory. Regarding the password, it looks like it's zero 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 for four zeros for both the root, routine maintenance and technician and password admin. So it's the same. 
So let's see if we can get in. Four zero. And then and enter. Calibrate, configure, let's try that one. Select language, I'm happy with uh, English. Set time and date, yeah why not. That's okay. I'll click cut to the next. Yeah, here we have the limits. You can set them in PPM. 200 is max and you got the levels 1500 so what else we got latching non latching set units uh, ppm okay the volume milliamps levels yeah, okay calibration interval and unit ID relay options yeah it's working so I won't change it I will show you it later okay so that's pretty much it looks like you can lock it also configure security I won't go there I don't want to lock it so let's try it out just try I have some ammonium here so got some here for testing Ammonium, ammoniac, so as we say in Swedish, NH3. So let's try it. And now we have a little bit of ammonia here. And let's get it close, see if we get some reading. And I will just, nothing yet, but I will press here on the bottle. And there we have it. So there we got the alarm. I was just, I was just getting some fuse up here. So now we have alarm in the in the control room that tells us that we have a leak here or something. And I, I turned off, put back the lid here, and it's going down. So. I'll, I'll pre uh, I'll do a fast sequence of this but when it comes down on the 50 then it's possible to uh, to put uh, to push that button so now we can reset it but I thought I would show you how it looks on the screen uh, inside sort of control room so let's go and check check that out the alarm show you the picture of, of it in the operating system so here we have the SCADA system showing the ammonia tank and you can see that uh, it's red a little flag there and uh, you can't uh, reset it here since you have to go out and really check the tank if there are any leaks otherwise people just reset it and don't go outside and look so you can put some text where the levels are and so on you can see uh, it's almost empty the tank here we can check the alarm uh, information ammonia uh, alarm and we got a, a number a unique ID number for it and you can also see the alarm there at the top 
ammoniac alarm. Yeah, so you can't reset it, as I said. You have to go out and push that button. So, we're back at the sensor and the PPM has gone down to zero. So now we can reset it here. And you still have the alarm b bell there. So, you have to press pretty long. If I press fast, it doesn't recognize it. You have to push it for a couple of seconds. And then you get a check. So, yeah. Now we're going to go again. I'll go back and show you the sensor and the control system that it has. Yeah, it has vanished, of course. Anyway, good to know is that uh, this sensor only lasts for about 12 months for ammonia and hydrogen fluoride sensors. You get a bit more for ozone sensors and chlorine and so on. So, we might have to calibrate, but now since this is brand new, we get a cert certificate that it's calibrated and it's obviously working. So this is the ammonia tank from the outside. Very ventilated area. And you refill it in the, with the, the pipes there. Okay, so we're back here looking at the SCADA and it's the red is not there anymore. So alarm is not active. So everything is fine. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of it. Give it a like if you do. Thanks, bye bye.